Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. CERN, those people with the 666 logo and the big particle accelerator tunnel machine in Switzerland are firing up their cylinders for the first time in three years. And they are going to be doing whatever it is they do, whatever it is they are doing in a couple of days on July the 5th. If you are excited about the restart of the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, then put the 5th of July into your calendars because this is the day when the Large Hadron Collider will start colliding particles at the highest energy we've ever done before. Looking forward to it. Yeah, she looks really happy about it. The highest energy that we've ever done before. They're up in the stakes. Don't know what might happen, but they're going to do it anyway and they're excited. This is by their own words, an experiment these people at CERN. They claim they don't really know what they are going to find or what the results are going to be. Here we see new CERN Hadron Collider experiment sparks July 5th doomsday conspiracy. What's really going on? It says here. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is going on? What are they really doing? I mean, there's no point looking in the fake stream media to try and find that out. I mean, do you believe what CERN are saying? This is a company that has been funded billions, perhaps trillions since 2008 with this collider. The money coming from 23 or 24 separate countries, the UK, USA, billions and billions poured into this, an international endeavor, an international experiment. These puppet tyrants and puppet masters are very fond of experiments these days, aren't they? It's like, I mean, look at NASA. I mean, do you believe what they tell you? If no, then why should we believe CERN? It says here, Doomsday conspiracy theories are abounding as the new July the 5th CERN Large Hadron Collider experiment is set to create unprecedented levels of energy. The European Organization for Nuclear Research is celebrating its 10th anniversary by restarting its Large Hadron Collider after it was shut down three years ago. The European Organization, also known as CERN, operates the largest particle physics laboratory in the world. It says its main function is to provide the particle accelerators and other infrastructure needed for high energy physics. Numerous high profile experiments have been constructed at the Institute through international collaborations, such as the creation of the World Wide Web. Yeah, the World Wide Web. The guy who created the internet, he was at CERN. OK, the World Wide Web, the web that we are all now courting, the net that they are using to trap us all, the Internet, the thing that is making it possible for the digital IDs, the social credit scores, the cashless system, the monitoring network of everyone, the digital trap. All of that can only work with the Internet. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, you're watching this video with the Internet and there's many great opportunities that have been created by the Internet. But, you know, so far, that's only been in the short term. What's it going to be like in the long term? What will people's opinion be then? That's the question. But, yeah, it was CERN who brought us the Internet. CERN with their 666 logo. On July the 5th, 2022, it says, there will be collisions of unprecedented energy levels at the Large Hadron Collider. The LHC, which is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, is at the center of conspiracy theories surrounding CERN. People have shared their superstitions regarding the portal that will open after two high energy particle beams are set to travel at close to speed of light before they collide. Yeah, it sounds like uh, Stranger Things. They, they're going to open up a portal to the other side, upside down world, and bring in the demons. Or is it all a load of baloney? Are they up to something else? Is it a big money scam? Is this concept going to be part of the whole Great Reset in some way? I don't know. Let's take a look at this new... So I wanted you all to be aware of that going on tomorrow. And then a sister wrote in and says the CERN event starts at 4 p.m. on the 5th. It makes it 7 a.m. West Coast, 10 a.m. East Coast on the 5th. Uh, maybe... Ezekiel 1, 1 and 1, 4 will get fulfilled and the door opens that Mike from around the world spoke about last week's show. So Ezekiel 1 is now it came to pass in the 13th year in the fourth month in the fifth day of the month. Now, 
I talked about the calendar yesterday, but the Torah calendar marks right now is the fourth month. So if it applies, you know, it, it applies. If if not, or God could be using it. So we'll just see what what comes of this. So it came to pass in the 13th year in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river of Chabar, that the heavens opened and I saw visions of God. Mind you, yeah, tomorrow's the fifth month, the fifth day uh, in July, but also on the Torah calendar. Okay, so that does make sense. So Ezekiel 1 and 4, and I looked and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud and a fire enfolding itself. And a brightness was about it, and out of the midst thereof as the color of amber, out of the midst of the fire. So we have associated here with what CERN looks to be doing. They are trying to open a portal, but it's, it's, a, it's dark. It's a dark one. And this is associated with... The heavens were open. The heavens were open, Ezekiel 1.1. 1, 1. Um, so also the whirlwind, associated with the whirlwind. So could this be when the heavens open tomorrow and, and, and we go up in a whirlwind? Okay, this is, this is what we're looking at because we know that what they're going to do tomorrow by the way, the sister also told me a few days ago that she had a dream the other just a couple of days ago that her daughter who died several years ago came to her in the dream and said, Mommy, CERN is going to have an explosion. And, you know, this is just a few days before they're doing this. So, you know, with what they're playing with, I would, I would be surprised if they did not have an explosion at this point. Would it be immediately? I don't know that. Um, maybe it will be in a couple of weeks, right before the 14th. I mean, you know, they're not going to sh- close shop the next day. They're, they're, they're open. So, um, So I wanted to give you that and I, um, I just pray that you all are doing well and, you know, staying in, in the spirit and avoiding the enemy's plots by listening to God and, uh, you know, I just find if you really are led by the spirit and you're really listening for God, you can avoid some plots of the enemy. I mean, there's attacks that will just come, but there are assignments of the enemy that we can also uh, avoid if we see it, if we see it in the spirit coming and we pray and we make the right decisions. So just be led by the spirit. Um, you know, I also randomly, I saw this video, totally random, because I've never seen her before. But she was talking about how thousands of flights have been canceled over the 4th of July weekend, or the 4th of July time. And um, I find that really interesting because of what's going on tomorrow. You know? They, they know, they know. (laughs) Um, yeah. So if you, if you, you know, write in the comments, if you have seen that happen as well, flights canceled where you are or heard about it and your thoughts on this and CERN. Okay. So anyway, I'll let you go. Praise the Lord. God bless you all. And I will talk to you soon.